Now this is a freehold corner terrace that is within an 8 minutes walk to the Unos MRT station. We're right here in D15. And Property Brothers think that this home is a land that you can invest in to do a full-on rebuild. 3,378 square feet. This is going to be something that you can design to your own taste. Loving how you wind up for me. Now, so sometimes this type of properties will pop up once in a while. This type of properties is very suitable if you're hunting for a land that's freehold in nature and you want to do a full-on rebuild based on your own architectural taste and also your own design that you have in mind for your future dream home. When you do a full-on rebuild, if you have watched a lot of our landed home tour series, right now, the time frame in the market is close to about 18 to 24 months depending on the speed that you collaborate with your architect and builder. What essentially is going to happen is that the the first three to six months is definitely going to be your planning phase with your builder and architect when you do a full-on rebuild. So spend an amount of time being in close contact with your architect, really find out the plan and then further on, they can then proceed for BCA submission. And building phase is essentially usually about 12 to 16 months. So do cater on the 24 months period for a full-on rebuild, especially if you're going for this kind of land size, which is 3,378 square feet. And uh, in this home, we're going to share a lot of deep dive on how you can rebuild this home to be that 7,000 odd square feet of building area. Now, this land width is about 11.5 meters and the depth is about 27.1 meters. So essentially what you can do is that the moment you start your rebuild project, let your architect know that you want to park at least two to three cars, extend your gate area, make it an automated gate. And uh, you have seen our Tambling Road uh, video. That's a gate that's being synced with the Alexa system so you can do voice command to open up your gate. Right now, the build up is only as per two-storey corner terrace status. So this is only about 1,800 square feet of build-up. It can go up to 3.5 storey. It means that three full on storey with an attic level. And that means that with this land size, usually for corner terraces, we take about a 65 to 70% of that land size, multiply that by about three and a half storey. And we have not even factored into the consideration that if you want to build a basement, you can still add on close to about 1,000 to 2,000 square feet. However, do take into consideration that whenever you build a basement, you need to cater probably close to about 500 to 700,000 in excess to your rebuilding cost. Let's say if you want to rebuild to three and a half, this can go up to about seven to eight bedrooms. This place is very suitable for you to build a pool. Underground pool can be constructed with about 80 to 100,000. Best is to be done when you're rebuilding a home because that allows you to reconfigure your pump to be in the position that's very suitable when you're building the architecture of this home. Now, just have a look at this vast land size. There's a lot of underutilized space right here. In terms of the backyard, the side setback. Take note that setback is about 2 meters. Usually for pools, architects will build up to about 1.2 meters in terms of depth. Lengthwise, because you have about 27 meters, you can decide how long you want your pool to be. But I think essentially make it to be probably about 90% length of the building. Keep that front portion for your car porch, the back portion as a backyard garden. I think that's going to look beautiful. I want to come back here, show a little bit about this location. Right opposite us is a Great Eastern building. Tall buildings right there. This is the beautiful project, Park Esta, that's going to be completed maybe in another one year's time. Right after Park Esta, there is Yunos MRT station. So we are within the D15 landed enclave. This is the start point towards uh, Juchet Terrace, towards Langsat, Kun Seng Road, and then you will head in towards Duku Lane, and then you will hit Katong and Marine Parade towards the east direction. That will be the start point of the Telok Kurau landed enclave. So the homes that were built 30 to 40 years ago, usually they will have this kind of split level living and dining. Uh, that was the very popular concept in the past. And then they have internal staircase, kitchen concept, and surprisingly there's still this dry kitchen concept in the past. Follow on by the backyard area, which I'll bring you to later. But most importantly, I want to start from the front because we're going to throw in the renderings right here. And then you can see how you can actually remod this place after a full-on rebuild. Because the interesting thing about doing your own rebuild is that you can increase the ceiling height. There is a height envelope that you have to adhere to. And of course, when you rebuild, you have to go for BCA submission, BCA inspection, when you TOP, and uh, when you reach your CSC as well. So this is going to be something that you can design to your own taste. Yeah, yeah, all this money on me. Yeah, yeah, cash rules 
Nowadays, the key things that you will want to consider when you do a rebuild full on for your landed home is that you want to make sure that you have that lift that is already built in. Now, lifts are essentially very affordable in the sense that they essentially cost about eighty to about hundred thousand dollars for the lift structure itself, and that depends on whether are you getting a hydraulic lift, a platform lift. There are various different versions. But sometimes the tricky things comes in when you have to put in the lift in an area where there is a lift provision, and you have to submit additional BCA approvals, and then you have to do A and A. And then sometimes the cost of putting in the lift, which just costs about eighty to hundred thousand, can amount to maybe about three hundred to four hundred thousand, even depending on the existing structure that allows you to do the A and A. So is usually the A and A that costs the most. The best thing is you do the lift while you're doing the rebuild and build in that pool that you want and that will give you two very essential items for your family to enjoy. Now the moment you have a lift in place, essentially also you don't need to have a granny's room right on a level one. Everybody can be on level two and three and maybe even the attic level. Level one then frees up a lot more space for a huge living area, dry kitchen and a wet kitchen kind of concept especially with your backyard in place. So essentially your living room is going to have seven different zonings. So your front porch area that allows you to park up to two or maybe even three cars, pool area at the side, backyard area, you can make it into a garden as well. Your living area with a high ceiling, dining space, dry kitchen, wet kitchen with your yard zoning. So most of the time the design is to have the master room at level two facing towards the front. If you want to have your master on level three, that can be done as well because you already have the lift being built in. Two of the bedrooms on level two facing towards the back of the house. Center portion of the home, reserve it for a family area. You can use that as studying area when they're doing home-based learning or it can also be a home office for you to utilize. And as we head to level three, that is the best place for you to construct bedrooms. And then as we head on to the attic level, I'll leave that up to you whether you want to have one huge bedroom that is en suite, doubling up as an entertainment room that allows you to walk towards the roof terrace. And I think most importantly is to work with a very trusted uh, architect and builder that adheres to the timeline and uh, of course when you do a rebuild process it takes three hands to clap yourself being one of the most important person because you are going to make the decision for the materials for the costing as well your architect is going to advise you on the drawings the plan uh, how your home is going to look like and of course your trusted builder that works alongside with you and your architect so these three people are very important to make sure that your timeline is being adhered to most of the time if you are work on a very sweet timeline, you can essentially get your home within an 18 months period. But of course, sometimes it stretches to 24 months, especially with the current situation. So how much does it cost to do a full-on rebuild for a corner terrace or semi-detached home in 2021 towards 2022? So right now, the costing in the market, they will go anything between $300 to $350 per square foot in terms of the built-in area. So let's say if you want to do a full-on 7,000 square feet of built-in area, that would then essentially translate to close to about $2.1 million. So let's say if you buy this home, current asking price is at $4.6 million negotiable, and you add back in the full-on rebuild cost, that's going to bring it to about six. $6.7 million. And importantly is that we want to see based on the current comparative analysis within this zoning, does this pricing make sense and whether does it suit your needs? So let's bring out the different types of landed properties right here in the D15 zoning. So what is essentially happening is that when you look for a landed property, the first thing to note is to ask your family how deep you want to live inside the landed enclave. Some families love to buy freehold landed properties that's very near and within walking distance to the MRT station. For this home, this is 8 minutes walk to Yunus MRT and that's the east-west line or the first line to pop out in Singapore together with the north-south line. You have one stop from Paleba, that's where the entire Paleba hub is, you have PLQ Mall, you have Paleba Square, your Singapore Post Centre, three mega shopping malls with two movie theatres right there at Palba. It is also an interchange towards the circle line that brings you to a city very quickly. Uh, in fact, from you know, it only takes you about six stations to reach uh, City Hall and Raffles Place. Head back one station, that is Kembangan. Two stations, that will bring you to Bedok Mall, which is a huge mall as well. If you are good with living deeper into the enclave, then you can hunt for properties that are deeper into the enclave. And uh, maybe everybody in your home has a vehicle, so they don't mind whether which exact micro locale they are living within the entire enclave. This particular land plot is situated close to the MRT station, but it's not facing directly to the main road. So you get the small lane right in front at Lorong 107 Changi. 
Now point number two is to compare within the three different types of landed properties. Perhaps you might be thinking, hey, should I get an inter-terrace? Should I get a corner terrace or should I get a semi-detached? So inter-terraces, there are homes that are essentially in a row of houses and the key difference is that you do not have side windows and most of the time if you want to rebuild, it's very important to build the air well right in the middle of the home, bringing the light from the attic roof all the way to level one, two and three of a landed home. So you don't have the side setbacks as well that allows you to build that pool that you're looking for. Essentially, it's very good for families that wants to keep the landed home quantum within a certain range. Right now, what is going on in the D15 zoning, if you look at some of the brand new inter-terraces, they are going at about 4.3 to 4.5 million dollars for brand new inter-terraces. Most importantly, is the land size that translates into the valuation pricing and that's a key consideration point that we want to look at. Which is why sometimes corner terraces and semi-Ds, they can be priced the same because of the similar land size. So for semi-Ds that are already perhaps in the 10 to 15 years old range. Some of the ranges are between the 5.8, 5.9 and up to about $6 million range. You can get a semi-D or a corner terrace right here in the D15 zoning if it's about 3,000 or maybe 3,002 kind of square feet. So for a brand new, brand new type, they're asking close to the range of about $6.8 million for a 3,001 to maybe about 3,003 kind of land size of corner terraces and semi-Ds. What this essentially means for you is that you then have the opportunity to rebuild something yourself rather than buying something off the market. So as we head upstairs, uh, this is an internal staircase. Interestingly, the Older design, uh, having this family area with three bedrooms is pretty interesting. So master room, in the older days, about 30, 40 years back when they construct landed homes, they like to park it at the back for privacy reasons. But right now, the interesting thing is that most master rooms are facing towards the front of the house. Even if, let's say, you were to buy this corner terrace and say that, oh, maybe I don't want to rebuild first. Let me just spend probably about $150,000 just to do basic renovation. If you can keep it within the 200 k mark, maybe overlay with vinyl flooring, not do too much of hacking, just do a bit of wet works for the bathrooms and the kitchen. I think that's all good. Our advice is try not to go for the full-on A and A. Based on our experience with our builders and architects is that the more you head on to the A and A journey, sometimes the A and A costing can go up to 70 to 80% of a full-on rebuild cost and you're not going to get a brand new build up building and you're going to do a lot of modification and alterations to the existing structure. So we do recommend if the building is of a considerable age to either just do very minimal renovation or just go on for a full on tear down and rebuild. This is the other bedroom, essentially the same size, overlooking towards the opposite which is a Great Eastern building. You do get some privacy because it's on a very high wall kind of feature and then flooring wise will all be parquet but I think it's very suitable for a nice lacquer over it. And uh, Taz, let's head down. So this is at Lorong 107 Changi. We are in the D15 zoning, eight minutes walk to Eunos MRT station. And if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing managers. And always when you come for a landed home visit, we'll share with you our landed report for you to have a look. And then you can have a little bit more ideas on how you can rebuild this place, what the costs involved, time frame as well. And thank you for staying with us throughout this landed tour. My name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Take care. This is the corner terrace. Now this is a freehold corner terrace. It's within eight minutes walk. You know the Marty were heading in. 